Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 49 of my King Tiger and Berg Panzer diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell, that'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode we're going to be spraying the driver's compartment of the Hetzer White. So let's get it masked up first then we can spray it. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. That's it all mashed up. Now for the white. All sprayed up and unmasked, nice, crisp, sharp edges. I'm getting better and better at this masking malarkey. Now to see how the Hetzer looks all cabled up. Whilst doing this, I did my usual breakage, a cable and the lifting mech, so I dutifully fixed them like this. There we go, that's those fixed. After my fiddling. Typical, isn't it? You play with something, you go and break it. Anywho, let's move on. We're going to paint the wooden storage box. As per usual, we're using Vallejo's wood grain 70.828. That's the box painted. Nothing like a well painted box is there. So moving from the Hetzer to the King Tiger, here we're using graphite to highlight warm metal edges. I'll be using both the pencil and the graphite powder to do those edges. These pencils I got from the works were just a couple of quid. Bonus!
So at this point I decided for some reason to glue the breech part of the turret to the basket. Don't ask me why, just thought it would be a good idea at the time. This is what happened. It was being an absolute nightmare to fit right. Boy was it fighting us. So, out with the destructions to see where the hell I was going wrong. And within minutes, I'd got it done. Bloody typical. Pobiac. Problem occurs between instructions and chair. Anywho, let's move on. Next we can get the shell sprayed. I'm using Vallejo Gold 71.066 as it looks more like brass. And yes, I did my due diligence. The King Tiger did use shells with a brass cartridge. So there we have the carts painted. We can pop those to one side to dry. Whilst that's happening, I'm going to make some skirts. Not those kinds. You see the kit ones on the left? They're a bit thick. So I've decided to make my own out of copper sheet. So what I first is I draw around one of them, cut them out and crack on like that. Here we go.
And there we have all six side skirts done. Not as hard as I thought it would be. Now for the road wheels. Let's get these painted with Tamiya's XF85 Rubber Black. Here we go. And there we have all the road wheels painted, just like that. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end, so thank you for watching episode 49. If you want to see what happens in episode 50, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.